Third year high school nung tayo ay nagkakilala. You were my classmate, seatmate, and chica mate. Sa mga pagdaan ng araw, ang inatupag ko lang ay maglaro ng basketball kasama ng mga malalapit na barkada. Kala ko bola lang ang iikutan ng buhay ko. Ngunit sa inaraw-araw na nakakausap kita, sa iyo umikot ang buhay ko. Hanggang sa dumating yung araw na binalak kong ligawan ka, pero mukhang walang pag-asa dahil sino ba naman ako sa buhay mo. Sinubukan kong maging malapit na lang sa iyo hanggang sa dumating ang pagkakataon na paglaroan ko ang nararamdaman ko. Akala ko parang bola na madaling ipasa lang. Ngunit hindi pala. Natutunan kong panindigan ang desisyon ko na kahit akala ng karamihan na wala akong pag-asa. Sinubukan kong sundin kung anong nararamdaman ng puso ko. I prayed for you and asked my mom, What if I'll be having a girlfriend? And she told me, If you won't keep any secrets that will destroy your future and know your limitations, make each other as an inspiration, it's not a problem for me. Kapag may trabaho na kayo, pwede nyo na gawin lahat ng gusto nyo. So I was happy with what she told me. I went to St. Joseph Church and knelt down, hoped and prayed to be happy and contented of what He would be giving to me. And there you are, which I knew that I need to take good care of for the rest of my life. A simple and a bright student, which is the opposite side of me. For almost 10 years of having this relationship, there were a lot of unforgettable and happy moments I experienced with you having by my side. But there were also flaws and hardships we encountered, but you never gave up on me. Alam mo na napakatigas ng ulo ko at mapright sa buhay. As a result, we were still here having each other's company. Those hardships we encountered made our relationship become more stronger and made our decisions in life act maturely. I know life would be more difficult, but I know and I am confident that we will face those challenges because I chose the perfect girl for me, which is you, Cariz. I also wanted to help my alma mater kasi dito rin ako natuto na maging responsable sa mga bagay-bagay. I was very happy to be a part of this institution. Because I experienced to teach here at St. Louis Pactal Incorporated. Shared my knowledge and experiences. Alam ko ginabayan ako ng Diyos, especially si St. Joseph. This is my calling, which is to inspire students. Ito na yung dapat kong isukli sa mga biyayang matatanggap ko. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, St. Joseph. I registered your name in this fun run because I know it would be fun staying beside you. Seeing you at the finish line is a great success for me. Our nine years of relationship won't end here. I wanted to proceed to the next level which is to say these four words, which a man must do in action, not just in words. Uh, this is sponsored by Reports, a uh, representative from March to 2011, to come in award. Thank you.
Oh my God. 